In order to figure out number 5, work your way back on the top floor. Add the 58 and the 93 fixed units for a total load of 148. Turn to table A2631. Go to a higher number than 148, which will be 151, and you will find number 5 to be inch and a half. Number 6 is a trap seal primer feeding the floor drain from the toilet flush omner. You can only find this answer from your module, and the size of it is 3 8 of an inch. Number 7 is feeding the two flushometer toilets to the left, which total 70 fixed units. So you look at the 83, and you would find it to be inch and a quarter in size. Number 8 feeds the top two floors, so you would add the 58, the 93, and the 115 for a total load of 263 fixed units. Then look back at table A2631 under the 359, and you will realize that number 8 is 2 inches in size. Finally, in order to calculate number 9, which is the drop piece to the flush ometer toilet, you would look at table 2632A under the very bottom figure, which is the water closet with direct flush valve. And you will see the minimum supply size to a water closet with flush valve is one inch in size. This now concludes the three-part series on water supply sizing. For more information on water supply, open up your third year modules under water distribution. And of course, don't forget to open up your Canadian 2010 National Plumbing Code book, because it's in the code.